Ladles and Jelly Spoons, welcome back to Badger Works. Today, this. Yep, it's the Fury again. <laughs> Hopefully we'll uh, we'll get it finished this time. So let's uh, let's dive straight back in. Right. Uh, so a quick recap because time has passed because I've been working and doing other things. I'm 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 just little doing bits of this. It's like as and when I can. Um, so this is much for my benefit as yours. The interior is done. Uh, the wiring is all done uh, for that. I have um, attached the uh, frame to the body, as you can see there. I'm going to put the rest of the exhaust on uh, in a minute. Um, so I'm going to quickly stick the rest of the exhaust on. So I'll just do that off camera. And then the next thing we're going to do is start putting the lights in the body uh, because I want to do that before I put the interior in because I think it will just make life a bit easier. And then we've got to wire up the grill, or grills, and then we can hopefully get the rest of the assembly done. So I'll quickly stick the exhaust on and then we'll get on and do the wiring in the headlights. Uh, okay, so as I said, now I'm going to do the headlights and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop them in loosely for a second like that because what I want to do is I want to I want to bend these over um, and then basically I'm going to cut them down bend them over um, and solder them together and then solder the wire onto them and then I'll run the wire over to the other side solder it onto those ones and then I'll run the wire down the inside of the wing um, and then out through the bottom of the car. I've got to make sure I'm actually doing the right side. So I actually I want to actually I want to do this side first. <laughs> this is why I always check, you see. Uh, so let's get these other two and pop these in here. that go on get in there there we go right so yes wire these two first then run the wire across the bottom of the core support and then to these ones and then down and then out through the bottom of the car and they'll meet up with the other ones on the floor so yes okay so uh, Let's give these a little bit. Let's see if I can bend them actually in situ. It'll make life a bit easier. Right, so hopefully you can see there. Focus. There we go. So I've just bent the legs together like that and I'll clip them shorter and then solder them and the wire on. Obviously do the same for the negative and then run the wire over the top to the other side. So I'll get on and do that and then I'll show you what it looks like at the end. Right, so um, I thought while I was waiting for stuff to do things, I just quickly put the body shell on. <laughs> that was fun. Um, yeah, it did not go together very well. Uh, so, I don't know if you can see that or not, but basically this, I don't know what it is, but the body shell did not want to go on to the frame. Um, so I've got it on, but that literally took me like two hours of mucking around trying to get that on. Uh, and it's not entirely right. Uh, so the next thing I've got to do is sort out the grill and everything. And I think the problem I'm going to have is getting everything, um, the grill to line up. And I might have to cut these chassis horns off. Can't focus. Focus. There we go. I might have to cut these chassis horns off, but I don't know yet. I'll figure that out in a minute. But what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to put this to one side for a minute because before I put the uh, the grill and everything on, I need to put the lights on the back of it. So I'm just going to pop this over here out of the way for a minute. And uh, so I um, I glued in the, the plastic bits on the backs of the grills. Uh, so that's done. Uh, now I think the other thing I'm going to need to do as well is modify the front 
valance because originally I was going to put two lights in there and I think that's going to be too bright. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm just going to put one in the middle. Uh, so I'm going to put where this, oh, hang on, where that um, center brace is, I'm going to put it behind that. And I'm going to do the same on this, where you've got these two braces here. I'm going to put one behind each one of those. Now, these ones are fine because I can just put the lights directly behind it. But on this, because it has to fit into here, I think what I'm going to have to do is um, I'm going to have to uh, cut another hole in the middle for the light to go in because there's no space behind the grill for it to fit. So I'll have to make a, a, put a hole there. Um, and I'm just trying to figure out the best way to do it because... I could just drill a hole through it, or I might actually join these two holes together and do it that way. Um, but I'm going to have a little think about that. But we'll worry about that in a minute. So what I want to do now, though, is put these lights on here. Um, and what I'm going to do... Where are my lights? I did a little test piece, actually, earlier, because I wanted to try something. So what I've got here is a piece of the, this plastic... Um, and I've, I've basically stuck the light to it with some of the resin and uh, it actually works fairly well. So let me just quickly put a battery on this and you can see what I mean. So if I pop that on there. Oh, I know I've probably just blown it because I've run it the wrong way around. Oh, there you go. So you can see that works nicely on there and it's it's very firmly stuck in place so that's how i'm going to attach the lights onto that so i'll put the lights on there um what i might do actually because i'm going to have like one light next to the other i might actually wire them together um so i've only got one set of wires coming off yeah i'll probably do that um so let me get these wires attached to this and then we'll figure out what we're going to do with the bumper Right, so let's oh, get a bit of resin. On there, that's probably way too much. Okay, now let's get one of these lights. And the trick is to make sure it's facing the right way. Should be stuck now and indeed it is so let's just quickly check that make sure it still works oh the trouble is with these little thin wires is they're really awkward to get hold of yeah that still works okay now we take the other one and we put a bit of resin there, like that. And then we get this other light. And make sure it's behind. brace and
hook that in place like that and so now hopefully I can turn that over and we can see if it still works oh the wires have all come untangled hang on talk about yourselves for a minute <sighs> all right so negative and positive and there you go just wondering actually if it needs another one in the middle might even put another one in the middle actually yeah I'm going to put one in the middle as well alright hang on I'll put one in the middle and then we'll see what it looks like now <laughs> This is rapidly becoming a rat's nest, but that's fine. Let me just wrap these all together and make sure that they all work. Negative, positive. Right, actually, I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's get the other battery because this is the one that we're actually going to use. So this is the 3.7 volt one. Because this should make them a little bit brighter. That looks pretty good, doesn't it? <laughs> All right, so that's that. Now let's figure out what we're going to do with the lower grill. So let's put this to one side. Okay, so I think what we can do is glue that grill into there and then we can put the uh, light in from the back. Right, so I'll just put a countersink on that just to make it a bit easier to get at. And I think what we'll do now is we'll glue this in and then once it's dry we'll put the... Uh, We'll put the um, the light in. Uh, put that in the right way round would probably help. Okay. Clamp on that just to hold it. Let that dry for a little while, and then um, we'll put the light in. All right, uh, let's get this one on here. would help so I can see what I'm doing. Not like I can really see what I'm doing even with my glasses on, but there you go. Uh, okay, now that needs to go like that. Let's see what that looks like. 
might need to put a couple more in that. I have to see. I'm not sure that's really bright enough. All uh, right, so I've just glued the core support in for the radiator. So while that's drying, I'm going to put the rear lights on. So here are the LEDs sticking out the back. And these are our uh, surrounds. I've drilled the back out so that it will fit the LED. And now what I want to do is just poke that in there. So that it's nice and flush. Thread the wires back in and pop this in place like that. And uh, I'll put a drop of glue on it. And once that's all dry, we can uh, put the bumper on. Right, so that's the uh, the rear lights and the surrounds fitted. And just to give you an idea, let's just connect these wires up quickly. And, uh, oh, get in there. And there you go. So there you see, they're, they're bright, but they're not stupidly bright, which is exactly what I was looking for. Uh, now, I'm not going to put the back bumper on yet because until I've got the wheels on because I don't want the bumper dragging on the floor. So uh, I'll leave the back like that for now. And uh, hopefully we can now get back on to doing the front and uh, see if we can get that front grill in place. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Uh, so... I've just I just went to test fit this front valance and it was an absolute nightmare getting it in place. And eventually it just kind of went pop and went into place and I thought that's it, I'm not gonna So I didn't actually film putting that on because it was just you know <laughs> it was it was awful. Uh so I'm gonna put the bumper on the front bumper and then we can sort out this rat's nest of wiring. So, but what I want to do is I want to get this bumper on and then leave it uh, to dry. I might leave it overnight, actually. And I have test fitted this bumper and it actually went on relatively easily. So hopefully I shouldn't need to do anything else to this once it's on. So this just goes on like that and that can stay there oh right right some time has passed um <laughs> i have been having all kinds of fun on and off camera <laughs> So um, you'll have to excuse if this seems to have jumped ahead a little bit because that is indeed what's happened. Um, so what I've done is uh, I've done a few bits off camera, nothing particularly exciting. Uh, I've fitted the, the, the bumpers at front and rear and the valances. Um, I have tidied up some of the chrome work with the, the Molotov chrome pen. Um, I've added the uh, wing mirrors and the front whatever these are um, and I've given it another little polish and things like that uh, so basically all I've got to do left to do on this now is the windscreen wipers and the aerial now I left those because uh, I re them because they weren't they didn't look great so I've just re them again I'm just waiting for them to dry so while they're drying I'm going to do the wheels um, and then once we've got the wheels on I think we're almost done. So I'll put the wheels on, or I'll put the wheels together first. Um, then we'll put those last couple of bits on and then see where we are. Okay, so wheels. Um, I'm not sure if I mentioned these before, but they do this interesting thing with these. They actually have a white wall insert, <laughs> which is pretty cool. Um, so that just, you see there's a big groove in the tire, molded into the tire here. So these just pop in like that and then the outer wheel goes in there like that you see 
that's pretty cool. Uh, and then the inner wheel, I've just painted that black uh, and that just pops in on the inside. Although I think what I might do actually, because this is going to take a bit of finagling to get in there, so I might put this in first, just so that I'm not handling that chrome bit too much. There we go, that's gone in. Uh, like that, and then, yeah, like I say, that just drops in on the outside. So let's get a bit of glue in there and we can stick this together. So I'll do the others and then we'll pop them on. Right, so um, these wheels actually go on fairly easy. I'll just put a bit of glue on the spindle. And then pop the wheel in place. Now actually before I put that in you can see what I've done there with the wiring. Uh, so I've basically sealed up the wire here so that it's not so visible and also so that it will fit through a hole in the diorama that I'm going to make um, and then tucked it all up into the wheel well out of the way so it should all sit quite nicely behind the wheel I'll just pop that on there give it a little turn to spread the glue around a bit and leave that to dry uh, oh I just realized you know the other thing I haven't done, last thing we need to do, put the uh, headlight glasses in. So we'll do that next. Okay, so the last step, putting these in. Um, let's just move that out of the way for a second. So these are the headlight uh, glasses. Now you'll see on the back here, they've got these little pins. And the idea is these would normally go through the headlight and glue onto the bulkhead but obviously we're not doing that because we have headlights so what I'm going to do is snip those off like so and just glue these straight in if they'll go so I'll just cut them off the frame I always find it's better to cut these off with a razor saw if I can because um, they're less likely to chip or crack. Right, okay, that's got one off. I'm going to put one on first and just see how it goes. Alright, let's get this back in. Now this is going to be the fun bit. Just trying to do this. Right, I need a picky up thing and that's to be that way around. Right, let's just see if we can put this in first and see how it goes. Oh, it goes straight on the floor. That's where it goes. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Oh. God, where did that go? Ugh. All right, found it. That was fun. Uh, let's try that again. Let's see if we can get that to 
stick. I oh, know everybody's going, oh, you shouldn't use solvents for glass, but you know what? It works. Right, now let's try a little experiment. Let's plug in the battery and see what happens. Oh, that looks all right, okay. Oh, I'll put the rest in. So um, I will stick the rest of these in and then I think we can call this done. Yeah. Right, yes. I'll put these in and then we'll wrap this up. And here is our finished article. Uh, well, for now, anyway. Um, this model was tricky, <laughs> to be fair. Uh, but I'm quite pleased how it's come out. It's the first kind of shiny kit I've done, and it's not that shiny, but I'm, I'm quite pleased with how it's come out. Um, the lights look great, as you can see, um, and I am, yeah, just generally very pleased with how this has come out overall. Uh, it's kind of, It's got the look that I wanted, and I think we're going to be able to quite easily create that iconic movie poster look. So in the next video, we're going to make a base for this thing, uh, and there's going to be some little, a few little uh, extra bits in there, so stay tuned for that one. Um, but in the meantime, I'd like to say thank you, uh, as ever, to my top tier patrons, Howard and Amy, for their continued support, and indeed for all of my patrons, much appreciated. And if you feel so inclined, you're more than welcome to come and join us on Patreon, uh, or indeed on the Staff Canteen on Facebook. But uh, stay tuned, folks, because I think the next video for the diorama for this, I think you're going to like. So uh, hopefully we'll see you on that one. Uh, until then, thanks very much for watching. Cheers. Bye.